afternoon. So just got a big word out today from President Biden. Apparently, he has announced his intent to nominate Martin O'Malley to be the next commissioner of the Social Security Administration. Um, I personally don't know Mr. O'Malley at all, but let's see what the president says. Um, let's see, see, see. All right, he indicates that Governor O'Malley, um, he was the former Maryland governor, and it looks like he was the mayor of Baltimore. Um, according to President Biden, he is a lifelong public servant, um, and he's spent much of his career making government more accessible and transparent. Hmm. Um, while, of course, keeping the American people at the heart of its work. Um, it says here, and again, I don't know anything about this. He adopted, this is Mr. O'Malley, um, while as the mayor and then the governor also, um, mayor of Baltimore, governor of Maryland. So I guess just take a look at those places and um, because you can find out more. He he apparently adopted data and performance-driven technologies to tackle complex challenges facing the communities he served. Um, so I guess, yeah, did he do well in Baltimore? How's it, how's it going? Um, President Biden says, insists that he saw the results firsthand when they worked together when President Biden was vice president. Um, he, President Biden believes that Mr. O'Malley made the government work more effectively and enhanced the way millions of people access critical services. Millions. Um, President Biden indicates that since day one, he's been trying to strengthen and defend Social Security. And he does accurately say here that tens of millions of people have paid into and depend on support uh, and depend on Social Security to support their livelihoods. Um, that seems like an interesting statement to support their livelihoods. I guess I would just have to look up the definition of that. Okay, um, but yes, I think it is very important, Social Security, as you all know. Um, and he feels confident, it looks like, that Governor O'Malley will continue to be a strong partner who works tirelessly to protect Social Security for generations to come. Um, apparently, he was governor of Maryland from 2007 to 2015. So, you know, it could be helpful to take a look about how, how Maryland was faring during those years uh, and following if it's been affected. Um, prior to that, he was the, the mayor of Baltimore for two terms. I'm guessing, but can't be sure that he went right from mayor to governor. That would be my guess, but don't hold me to it. Um, prior to being mayor, he had been a member of the Baltimore City Council from 1991 to 1999. And he was the assistant state's attorney for the city of Baltimore before that. So I suppose he's very Baltimore involved. Sounds like he's had his thumb on the pulse of Baltimore, greatly affecting it in many ways for the past, I don't know, 30 years, is it? 20 years, 20 to 30 years. Um, so I suppose our next step is to check out his record, right? See if that gives us confidence, um, the same confidence that President Biden apparently has for Mr. O'Malley as the commissioner. Um, let's see. Oh, apparently Mr. O'Malley has written extensively about how to govern for better results in the information age by measuring the outputs of government on a real-time basis. Well, that's interesting. So I, I'm assuming then he started with his own state and city where we can see the um, the outputs of their governments on a real-time basis, although it's kind of after the fact because he's no longer there. Um, looks like he went to college and then he went to law school all within a uh, yeah, law school at University of Maryland. And he lectures at various universities and institutions. 
apparently since 2016. Okay, so that is, looks like it's gonna be the nominee. We'll see how that goes. Um, you know, we'll have to go through all those uh, all those hoops, I suppose, to get there. Anyway, all right, take care. Bye now.